Welcome to my channel, my name is Lou, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a quick looky review on the Thinker uh, Love Every Box. Now, or Play Kit, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is the one that's from 11 to 12 months. My daughter right now is about 10 and a half, but I feel that she is ready for something a little bit more challenging. She's been a bit more hands on, she's wanting to discover things, and she's just She's my girl. So um, this is what it looks like when you first open it up. Now I pre-ordered all of my kits that I wanted. Now I did skip a couple because I didn't think I really needed those ones, but um, I already pre-ordered this one. So I've already had this in my closet for about three months and I've got the rest of them to like, I, I got the rest of the kits that I wanted through the whole thing. So yeah. Those are all in the closet and I'll be doing reviews as she needs them. So we take off this and this is what it looks like. Now I did have a look at previously opened it when I first got it cause I was just I was too excited guys. Um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm excited to show you what's in there. So first of all, they have your first little doll. Now I chose this one, but I love how it's, it says on the back here that it is organic cotton, which I think is great. It's really, I don't know, it's really soft, really cute. She already has one other doll that I got for her that has a chul skirt um, that I got from Target and that I really, I, she loves it. She loves chewing on the tool, but I think this will be great too as a little friend. It also comes in with the information book. I love these books and I'll show you why. Not only is it together, oops, <laughs> not only is it together with a link, which means I can't lose bits of papers everywhere because I will lose bits of papers everywhere. Like the Kiwi Co one, I swear I've lost those cards. But um, it tells you, you know, what and when, like when should you introduce them? How do you introduce them? So it gives you a timeline, which is also on the back of the oops on the back of the box as well but it gives you a timeline of when to introduce a different couple things which is really cool uh baby and you so what's happening to baby or like developmentally where they should relatively be every kid is different so it's not always you know everyone's not everyone's the same for example i was walking at nine months guys my daughter is pushing things and walking at ten and a half she was doing that she was doing that like nine and a half months she was pushing stuff and standing and whatnot but not walking by herself like I was so it tells you what they should relatively maybe doing and things about you you as well like for example this one says time to reflect on all the reasons why you're a great parent we don't ever stop and go and reflect on us as parents and go how good am I doing Am I reading scriptures to them? Am I praying with them? And are they getting good food? Are they happy? Are they screaming all the time? Like, what are the good things are you doing? And I think that's really cool that they ask you to stop for a little bit. All right, and then it tells you about the play things. So, um, like making diaper time more tolerable because I don't know about you guys, but my daughter is screaming. A diaper time like when I every time I change her nappy diaper um, she just she screams and I don't know why she doesn't have a rash there's nothing wrong I just she wants to move she's flipping herself over and just yeah uh, and then tells you all the different ones that comes in uh, the, the, all the play things that come with it uh, how to use them and some different activities then there's like more activities like reaching for sticky notes. I can't give my daughter sticky notes. I don't know about you guys because she will pick them off and she'll eat them. It's like any kind of paper that I give her. It goes straight in the mouth and I swear she's going to get like a pica stomach or something. And just, yeah, 
always wants to get those sticky notes. And anyway, so it continues with different activities. And then like a couple, of, and I think that's it. Yeah. So that's the book. And I think this is great because what you can do, this is what I'm planning on doing, is I've got a one box that's going to have zero to one year, all of her clothes. I'm going to put these in there with them so that when I get to that point where we, if we ever have a second kid, that I can just go, all right, they're five to six months. All right, these are the toys that are more appropriate for them and get those ones out and have them on the shelf, which I think is really cool. So definitely love these things. All right. And next one is this, what they call a sensory. What do they call this thing? Sensory pouch, organic cotton sensory pouch guys that's what this is so i kind of cool I, I love the handle like i can just see my daughter holding this she loves holding like buckets and baskets everywhere like i'll take her to target and, <laughs> and for halloween i gave her the bucket the halloween bucket to hold and she was just holding it in the store like she was only like nine months or whatever but she just loved it so this is a sensory bin there's obviously some crackling but it's quite deep like compared to my hand, I got, I got small hands guys, but compared to my hand and my hell hand can fit through this, which will be fun to be able to hide things in here and like have her pull them out. So that's really cool. All right. Next one is we have a cute little book. I love board books guys. Like I really do. I do have a lot already. Um, but I like how this one's got animals. I'm an animal lover, guys. My bachelor's degree is in animal science. So, yeah, I love this one. I think this would be great. And they suggest to use this during diaper time. So, have, like, as you're changing them, give this to them so they can look at it. So, I might actually change, I might try that and see how that goes. And I'll put a thing right here, said if it worked or not. It might work the only the first time and then, you know, be done by the next. But, uh, next thing that we have is the pincer puzzle. So it comes to, obviously. All right, here we go. So it's a cute little turquoise top. I love turquoise and teals. So little puzzle for them to work on. Puzzles are great. And I love how this is made out of wood. She's going to love just sucking on this thing and putting it in her mouth and switching hands so yeah that's this cute little puzzle it's made out of beautiful wood like always so that's great uh next one that they have is what they call opposite balls so they're two balls they're both kind of squishy made out of i'm gonna say silicone rubber i really don't know i'm not a materials person but this one if you can hear it is filled with some weight to it and this one is just complete air so these are what they call opposite balls so one's heavy one's light and you can from what i can see in the well in the little booklet it said you can put this in the tub and see which one like what they do so this is great for for science um and just for learning about opposites all right next one that we have is the sliding top box now i love these things um my daughter just figured out how to put stuff in like like putting balls through a hole and stuff but she loves doing that um so like the one that has that slide so she puts it in it rolls back out so this is definitely going to be something that's a bit more um a, more difficult for her to figure out but she's going to love figuring this out as soon as she figures out that this green thing slides she's got this so I love it made out of wood very sturdy very awesome uh, next one is what they call a wooden peg drop okay so it looks like this this thing comes in and out so if I so that's to block it let's open it and it comes with these pegs Okay, one yellow, one green, one red. It's more like a salmon red, but anyway, so they go in like so. 
and then you push and they fall on through into the little thing so this is this is kind of cool I like this so not only does she have to put them in but then she has to push this I kind of wish it was pull rather than push to make them drop but whatever it's it's cute it's going to be fun especially when we do counting it is very loud which is kind of annoying um wish this was maybe made out of felt that might have been cooler because then it would have been too loud but then again my daughter likes loud things so yeah so that's everything in the love every the thinker the thinker kit so this is 11 to 12 months um so honest review upon looking at this the quality is just gorgeous i know that these wood pieces like these wooden toys are going to last a lot longer than anything else that i will buy made out of plastic the doll and the and the little board book yeah like they're cool they're cute I don't know how much function she's going to get from these, but who knows? She might love them. But everything else I can see using for homeschooling for years to come. Like, like this one. This one. I'm just going to take these out because they're very loud. These, this one, we can use for doing counting, like coins. I can put, you know. 10 cent coins actually do yeah 10 cent coins in here or you know something small like a penny and we can learn how to count that way like th there's so much we can do with this there's so much that we can do with this sliding one i'm not sure about the puzzle because it's just a simple puzzle but who knows i might be able to use it as a stamp with painting I don't know. <laughs> That's the same thing with these wooden pegs. You probably use these for painting too. Put a bit of paint on the end and... But... I... I like them. I really like these wooden balls. Oh, these wooden balls. I really like these balls. Um, and the fact that they're opposite each other. Like, that's really cool. But, yeah. That's the love every the thinker. I think she's going to enjoy it. I will probably let you know if she does i'm gonna tell you she's liked everything from love every from this point forward like from previous so i don't expect her not to like this i think she will love it but that's my kid uh, other than that if you like these kind of content please like and subscribe i will be doing reviews as they continue to as she grows older i'll be reviewing them and unboxing them and going through them again i pre-ordered mine so i i kind of created a fake baby and you can get a reschedule of your delivery so i put all my delivery schedules like one day after the other so all the boxes came within like three weeks or well, two two three weeks of each other but yeah i'm kind of excited for her to work on this i will be this time around because i haven't done this before i will be trying to follow this schedule as much as i possibly can so i will start with the book then go for this and then going that way as we get to her first year because i didn't do that before i've just been putting out the toys and letting her figure it out that's it <laughs> Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day and that you are kind and courteous to others as you are on your path. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. All right, bye.